What's up everybody, this is Creepy Man, and this is going to be a tour of my whole world. And I have been building my world for a year and a half, so I've done pretty much a lot. So this video is going to be based on showing you my world. I only have 20 minutes, 15 minutes to do all this, so I'm trying to get through all this if I'm like not giving you that much information, I'll actually put that in another video. So, right now I'm going to show you my Spider-Man statue. Since I filled it up with red wool, you can't really live inside of it. And it's not good for playing hide and go seek. Because I will never check here because I filled it in. You can just cover that. So, it will take me ages to find you inside here. And this is my throne. So I hope you will subscribe to me and uh, comment down below if you liked it or not. Because this actually took me a really long time to build. Because actually trying to get the angle right on the creeper heads is hard. A lot. And this is actually my throne. I can sit in it. I can jump out and you see a quick creeper face because my, my head is in the creeper face and this was a Mother's Day present from my mom and I got an archering thing do I show her my archering skills this is her throne if everybody anybody wants to hurt her it won't get to her or if they try to do a 360 no scope if they try accidentally shoot here, they won't get her because she's protected by these. Even if they're open, they actually stop. Pretty cool, and I actually did a lot of experimenting. And doors don't really work because they go straight through doors. And then this is her closet on there. It has all the armor and all that. And this is actually going to be the mine. That I've actually done with TNT. I put so much TNT, these are blocked out by this and all that. I hope that I can rebuild all this uh, before I do another video. Because that kind of looks weird having all that blown up. And then one TNT went over here and it, uh, blew, and then so many TNT blew up other TNT over here. And there was like a lake right here, so it actually made water come all the way down to here to bedrock because there's so much TNT once. So other much TNT over here. I actually had a, a played with it by putting like some diamond rocks and all that. So I'm not really happy that it's filled with water. Man, if I can get out of here, I'd be happy if I can get out of here, please, please. And I actually have spawned it right here when I was, when I first spawned in my world, I was right here. I was like, how am I going to get down? And I actually just uh, saved my game, went into creative mode, and just flew down here, all the way down here. I chose like a good spot to build my house. It was all flat, good, until, like, I made it, like, a giant staircase and I went from my house all the way down to here. Right here. This platform. Imagine going up all that just to get to my house. Until I thought I was just making this. It's, it's faster just to get down in survival and in creative. Because you can fly up and down in creative. But in survival, you can only go fast uh, down, going down because you can just jump off and then go right back on the ladder as quick as you can. This so minecart came from this powered thing from all the way over here. Hold on. Let me get to there. From here, you just put a minecart on this. It actually is powered by this button. And then it turns to, it goes to the wall. Josh, 
sorry for that, because that was my little baby sister. She's still awake. And this is late at night. Everybody's asleep besides my little baby sister. And I'm trying to talk loud so they can't, so my phone can hear me. I'm recording on my phone. And I'm playing now on YouTube. And this is, actually this. This is actually my school, where I go to school. I wanted to build like an exact replica, but I couldn't do that perfectly. I can't do an L-shaped thing. I actually tried that with the L-shaped thing. I actually built an L, but I realized it was the wrong way. So I just made it desk by desk, like you'd have it in college, or in like high school, or in middle school. You just have separate desks, and not in groups or any of that. So I just did that. And this is actually a pool that my aunt wanted. She actually built her house on top of here. So she can get down to here on this water. And then she can just get out on this. And if she drops down with a horse, a horse can get up there. Or a mob drops down from her house when it's running up there. And can get out. And this illusion, I didn't even try to do this because then it would take me an absolute hour to fix all this giant mess. So I didn't really want to spend that much time. I wanted to like practice all my videos and all that. So I'm actually gonna destroy these trees so I can have more space to like build uh, whatever I'm gonna build to like show you something. Oh. And I also have some really fun to show you. I've actually had a lot of fun doing. There we go. Do that. Wait. There we go. Have it all the way down to stone. There has to be three blocks down to on stone. But if it's it has to be only Two layers of dirt, so I'm gonna actually do that. Wait for this glass to grow, grow, and then you can just like pick them off. But I actually choose a villager because so it can spawn like tons of babies. And I just hold the left trigger, uh, and then I just hold it until I see no more shoulders on there moving. That means I can't spawn any more babies on the villager. Sorry for that interruption, guys. My baby sister keeps on asking for jelly beans, apparently. And we're the only ones awake. So then you're going to need some TNT. And you have to have flint and steel. Place it right here. My, well, TNT explodes. Don't want fire all over my world. Do that, and then you'll get a cool design. Watch, see, it just goes randomly. A random design. If you want like a random design in the hole in the ground, a random hole in the ground. This is how I actually clean out a hole. If I ever need a. If I ever need a seven block high. If I ever need a 3x3 three three platform that is 7 blocks down, I can just do this technique and it's really easy. I can actually repeat this process so many times, as many as I want. So I think, I hope you had fun watching. And I hope you, uh, you get to, oh, and P.S. This is actually my crafting things. I'm actually going to build more of these for like every single thing. I'm going to have like a room around it to where uh, like if I ever need to sh see how I build like an aisle I can just move on to every single one of them or I can just um go to the crafting table and just see what I need to craft and just look out of that and but this it would be a lot easier because instead of uh just going on there and looking for it searching I can just look at here uh, see the item that I need to craft and look at all the materials I need. Uh, so I hope you had fun watching and I hope, uh,
I get to show you how to build all this stuff. That's in my world, especially with them, but you don't have to make this wool green. Sorry for the interruption. Every uh, time I skip it, I have to like give my baby sister a pair of jelly beans or a package of jelly beans and open it for her because she just wants candy a lot and I just want to do this video for you guys. So when she's asleep in the morning, I'm going to try my best to like keep it down so I don't wake her up and have to edit all this out and like take those parts out. So I hope you had fun watching this. And I'm going to actually show you how to build some of the stuff that's in my world already. But if you any, if you want to build a statue, you're going to have to go to the guy that builds the statues. Because I don't want to have to do this all over again anywhere else. Because this actually took me an hour and a half. So I hope you had fun watching. Bye.